the sublime comes through the mundane. Hey, it's Dr. McLean, Vital Energy Chiropractic. I heard this statement the other day. Let me read that to you again. The sublime comes through the mundane. And the sublime means to, the definition of sublime is to elevate or exalt, especially in dignity or honor, to render finer as impurity or excellence. So I think this is so true when it comes to health. And I'll tell you what I think of this statement, what it means to me. But I think it's really true when it comes to our health because whether it's our health or whether it's our finances, we're always kind of looking for the next big thing and we're looking for the fix, right? We want, instead of making the money as far as putting the work to make the money, we want to win the lottery. And there's nothing wrong with that desire, but the reality is what is our chances of winning the lottery? Pretty minimal, right? And even if you do win the lottery, if you haven't taken the time to understand how money works and how to manage your own money, the research shows most people that win the lottery end up more broke than they started because they overextend themselves. And most of them say, I wish I never would have won this because I've lost friends, it's ruined my life, which sounds kind of crazy, right? We think just winning the lottery is gonna solve a lot of our problems. So the sublime comes to the mundane. I think this is really true. When it comes to our health, what do we do? You know, oftentimes I have people come in and if they don't truly understand chiropractic, they get adjusted until the pain goes away and then they stop doing those things that got rid of their pain. Um, and that's human nature, right? It was out of sight, out of mind. But the reality is if you can do those things long-term, get adjusted, do your spinal rehab, you're gonna re reach that sublime, right? You're gonna reach this amazing level of health. Same thing when it comes to physical fitness, it's doing the same things over and over. And I say true health is slow, boring, and methodical. And I think the same thing as wealth, true wealth, is slow, boring, methodical, right? It's spending less than you make. It's investing the difference, paying attention to your money. It's relationships, right? How is somebody married for 20, 30, 40, 50 years? Again, it's the mundane. It's doing the little things, taking care of their spouse and um, doing the things that are going to make that person happy and taking care of themselves so they can be a better spouse. So I, I think this is so true today because we have these stories that we see on the internet and on social media where this person lost 100 pounds or they become very, very rich or we see somebody driving a really fancy car or they've got a really nice house and all we're seeing is their Facebook life or their Instagram life. We're not seeing all the struggles behind the scene and some of those are fake, right? They've, they've rented the fancy car instead of actually bought it. Um, but some of those are people that are really working hard and, and struggling in a good way behind the scenes to create that success and we don't always see that pain, that discipline that goes along with that. So nothing's gonna come easy, but it doesn't have to be super hard if you extend it out over time, meaning just do a little bit of discipline each day. So remember that statement, especially when it comes to your health, the sublime comes through the mundane. When you don't wanna do the spinal rehab, take the time to do it. When you don't wanna take the time on your schedule to go get adjusted, go do it, right? Get in the habit of taking your supplements daily, taking some time for your spiritual health, do those little things, that little bit of discipline is going to pay huge, huge dividends down the road.